what's really needed at this time for all of us is us to sit around a fire in the dark, holding hands and listen. and I am Daniela Haskara. So good to see you. Good to see you, Gary. Lovely to see you. This is our um, second episode and unfortunately because of the first episode having a slightly difficulties, we are going to post first episode after the second. <laughs> you know, it's just wonderful that we can have each one be for the first time. We're exactly. always really ourselves. <laughs> exactly. You sound good today. We are so lucky that it doesn't matter where we are in the world, as long as we have Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's it's so good to be able to have this closeness and openness no matter where we are. Yeah, it's such a privilege. We can actually connect. It doesn't matter if it's from the jungle or if it's from, <laughs> you know, any place in the world. I love that so much. So, dear Gary, it's it's wonderful to connect with you again. And I have a strong feeling that despite the many years of um, living in different places in the world, there hasn't been uh, in in spirit or in like-mindedness any um, much difference in a perceiving of the world. And I, what comes to my mind is like living in the truth and living in the beingness, it, it's, it makes our life so much easier, doesn't it? Time has not passed. <laughs> <laughs> comes down to three key words, inspire, nurture, and empower. That's it. When I take time to inspire, nurture, and empower myself with every thought, word, and action, everything makes sense in my inner world and in the new earth that we are all creating. Yes, I can only agree with that. So happy new moon to you, Gary. What a wonderful thing we are having exactly this meeting again on an auspicious day today. And one of the things I looked up was I just noticed that we are one month away from the uh, spring equinox, which is a very powerful. By tuning in, I've been feeling, you know, we have a change of energy. We have an activation of energy. What I would love to talk with you about is, since we are approaching somehow a new beginning of of earth changes uh, what do you think we can how can we activate in the most powerful way ourselves to tuning into these earth changes i was envisioning a conversation a dialogue that i was just hearing a week ago from a prominent physician and luminary named Zach Bush. And he was having quite a very strong messaging on this subject. And at one point, the one thing he said that struck me that I'm reminded to say to you at this stage is he said, what's really needed at this time for all of us is us to sit around a fire in the dark, holding hands and listen. 
in the silence between words and thoughts, the new stories that are called for to learn from us together as well. That interpretation of what he said really rings true. That feeling of connection to the wisdom without having to go to an outer source to find it so much inside. I was gonna read this to you. I've had it for months and months and somehow I knew I'd bring this in. It's the only page that I brought to read. It's quite telling, listen to this. It's called Lost. Stand still. The trees ahead and bushes behind you are not lost. Wherever you are is called here. And you must treat it as a powerful stranger. Musk ask permission to know it and be known. The forest breathes. Listen. It answers. I have made this place around you. If you leave it, you may come back again, saying, here. No two trees are the same to raven. No two branches are the same to wren. If what a tree or a bush does is lost upon you, you are surely lost. <laughs> Stand still. The forest knows where you are. You must let it Find You by David Wagoner. Thank that, you. Yeah, David thank you. Wagner. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. I couldn't agree more. The nature part is so incredibly touching to me. I had a little experience here on the sad, sad side of that same story, uh, and which ties into how dare civilization knows when to cut trees and sometimes you can't control every environment around you and um in it it rips my heart apart because i'm very connected with trees yeah. so i want to tell you um this unbelievable uh, short story and it's it's a sharing from from a place where even so I've been feeling connected with trees all this time so strongly I never knew that I'm perceiving them even so empathically then until last week where I had an incredible epiphany there were these two trees one is still intact and the other one is gone so please bear with me that is a very sad story but in the process of the cutting of that tree, I, you know, I was standing by my window and there was nothing I could do. It was in full process. I could have chained myself right, just in time to the tree, but I, you know, it was, it, I, I didn't see it coming. So it was unbelievable. The tree was falling. And my heart was just so bleeding. The tree next to the tree, in not far distance, was in the moment the tree was falling, waving. And it wasn't touched. It wasn't touched. There was no branches interfering with each other. It wasn't striked. It wasn't touched. It wasn't anything in 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 it was not touched. This tree was waving like it was in a storm. 
there was no wind. No other tree further away was waving. I was witness with the tree. And I almost get tears. It was showing me that this tree's emotion was so strong in in the suffering and i'm sorry i'm getting tears because i unbelievable it striked me as such unbelievable <laughs> sorry it it was striking me so unbelievable i was with that tree and i saw it and i witnessed it and I could understand it. It suffered like I did. And it was unbelievable to see such reaction being shown to me in my in front of me. I rushed down <laughs> and I stood next to the tree that the worker would not come any closer to that tree and they left and i felt like camaraderie like i was feeling like i understand you you know i saw it i witnessed you and we have to come to a place to nature to to see that everything is living and everything is alive. And if we can communicate it with the right way, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I, have get I have to get myself a tissue. Anyway, <laughs> um, this, this unbelievable um, experience was, it, it was heart wrenching, you know, um, the morning was big. <laughs> and at the same time, the the gratefulness of the witness of it, the, of the reaction, it was real. It this was real. This was shown to me. It, it there was there was an earthquake in that in that tree. The tree was waving like in a storm. How can it be, right? Was was the roots connected with each other with this other tree? You know, we don't know. It felt all, like all of, all of yes. it. It was so it was so connected, and this is the kind of um, spirit we when we as visionaries and empathic people, which we are, and I am for sure <laughs> that we we have to bow down to every living and be, every living essence in the i know their being is 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 not is not enough because we don't see the life in the end we step on accidentally or you know or we uh, you know there is so much we have to become in sympathy of in order to understand this world and this earth that everything is living, even if we are thinking that the the stone is not alive, it is. <laughs> there is essence, and sen there is essence and manifestation in everything. What we see has a spirit of, even if we don't understand it yet, let it you know, let it be heard that we are living on a planet where everything is alive and the the worst the worst experience for me is to literally have that um realization that unfortunately um when control is happening where people are you know have the saying of certain things you know there is so much done wrong so 
sorry i'm going off the tension with this story but it was like so utterly amazing to me last week and it actually oh, i i i felt a, a, i went through a mourning period you know uh, so deeply daniela and to feel not only that the tree was being moved but that you were being moved you and the tree are one with the roots with all the waves of energy in motion emotion that we share the american indians have the same belief that all is alive everything I'm living off the grid now. I'm in deep nature. And my favorite ritual every day is to go into my favorite waterfall. I walk down this rock, pretty easy to kind of walk down this rock. It's just enough to be able to get in safely. And there is a, almost like a cave, a well, a basin that I can sit in like a pool and the water pouring above my head like a jacuzzi is magnificent. And I go through a very specific meditation in nature to attune to my own deepest nature, which is ah, ye, I, o, o. Just those five syllables, A, E, I, O, O. Couldn't be simpler. Yet in that practice, I do it five times. I activate the opening of all hearts the awakening of all of us to be heard, to share our voice, to be heard, to have what is for the greatest compassion of growth and sustainability for all sentient beings heard throughout all incarnations and dimensions of existence. The I is the I am presence that goes through the inner core, through the center of the molten world. The O is the belly sound, the round sound that contains all that we are attached to that's universal forever, that sense of new earth, that place that humanity will always be forever. And then, ooh, what do I stand on? What do, do I trust? My foundation, firm, flexible, and flowing. Bring me in touch with my deepest nature in the depths of nature. That was my point. And that by all of us having a simple practice like that every day, that is how we transform this cocoon of glue by focusing on the pineal gland in the center of our skull by activating, I do, breathing into that center, the highest thoughts as we share these thoughts together, we make manifest these new dreams together much more. So this is what's happening, what we're capable of doing at this time. The activation is so much more available for us to utilize in this good way. We are shifting into this new resonance, all of us. I have a very strong feeling that within a month, uh, which is for the spring equinox, we have new energies coming in. Maybe what we've been longing for for a long time, it can come very quickly in as vibrations. As long we attune ourselves, we don't have to know how it happens. As if we are attuned within, allowing to receive, allowing to be open those shifts will will manifest very quickly they're here now they're here now and i find it so fascinating the messages which from the universe are sent to us what messages are you receiving in ancient times, we've been more connected to energy frequencies and, and 
vibrations there were there were more present in our daily consciousness in our daily life so here we have our planet who was almost a little bit asleep to the ancient times because it's awakening again to a more presence of feelings and vibration and tuning in it's awakening yeah. to that so so what i'm experiencing feeling uh, uh, you know with light energy if we can and it fits right into what you are saying about tuning in with nature and doing the sound sound is light light is sound more thing to that yes the body as our chief instrument of communication so through breath breath sound intonation breath intention also with an activation of the pineal gland or some specific movement those alignments put us in touch with that receptivity like a radio antenna through which we pick up the highest, clearest, what's meant for me, for you, for humanity. So it's about constant attunement to the body as the chief instrument of communication that incorporates these sound, movement, breath, intention, all the Yes, else. perfect, Everything. perfect. I am completely utterly fascinated with the pineal gland because it as a light source of ourselves and our body that's where we're connecting we have a combustion of light happening right in there in meditation so absolutely i have this very strong feeling when you were asking me what are my thoughts the the thought is literally it keeps coming back the ancient times are back is time a u-shape you know that we just you know time as we know it is not as we think it is so is our new reaction <laughs> go ahead Gary. i want to add to what you're saying <laughs> not what we think it is if this new reaction of a way to envision where we are is true as in the new earth which is our final destination that forever place then the halls of amenti the back of the medulla oblongata at this little hollow in the back of our skull as we press through here and we place our finger here we connect with all past present and future knowledge it's not far away it's already within us so all we have to do, like Michelangelo said, is free everything unlike itself. Feel the connection between all that came before, all that's within us, and all that we call in front of us. But here we are. We are past, present, and future at once. This moment, all the time. We have mm. that already. So by yeah. envisioning and activating these mm. centers, our highest optimal state now, not even paying attention to how difficult or struggling or the old story, as we keep focusing on the new story with this uplift of energy and pleasantry and full buzzing and lighting up. When I press here in the pineal gland, I'm often seeing a multidimensional, like an Escher painting, an Escher sketch and the, the scared pace are moving in all directions. And then I say to myself, what highest thought can I take all these patterns and redirect it for my own healing, for the healing of those around, for all sentient. I keep doing that over and over, tuning that instrument. Wonderful. Experiencing. Hey, well said the the experience i'm trying to grasp myself with uh, with with all of these things you, you know when i was younger <laughs> i always thought gosh 
who are these beings? <laughs> I cannot understand anybody because I wasn't I was on a different planet. <laughs> I always I always felt a little bit, you know how you had the feeling like uh you were already in a zone in a different zone living than uh, some other people and i felt that contrast was was bigger when when i was younger i was feeling that my reality was shaped around other interests than most people were really living in and i was so curious about the planet i was traveling so much i was so spiritual and i had so so many interests in the spirituality you know to to discover i couldn't wait to getting in touch with with masters with wise men <laughs> wise women you know with 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 basically the with 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 something what gives me answers I, I you know I had this meetings of all these remarkable beings I had made when I was younger this is a really true story <laughs> I made a list when I first uh, started on a one-year travel and it, this is a true story I made a list with all the people I wanted to meet <laughs> it wasn't all the place a lot of our places too but it was also all the people I wanted to meet and later years later I looked at the list I met all these people it was beautiful oh my god what a I I would call it my list of remarkable people you know and yeah. and the and and I do I do remember remarkable meetings you know I remember remarkable meetings and the desire was always originated from that wish to understanding deeper, understanding deeper, going deeper. Where else can I go? You know, even deeper. So, and and there is there is no end to it. This is the beauty. How these new energies arriving into new earth how can we transform with the changes of the earth fascinating you know you wrote me just before we began this tonight saying that you'd like to focus on the new earth and i actually looked up new earth and googled it and came up with a very interesting description which i generally don't relate to much biblical stuff however listen to this according to the book of revelation the new earth is our final destination, our forever home. It's the place that humanity will live forever. Well, I can relate to that as <laughs> practices that for me help me stay in my body, in my highest consciousness, in a centered, nurturing, inspiring, empowering way connects me to this wisdom of all past present and future knowledge. So for me, the new earth is our waking up to that eternal self, that presence, that consciousness, that God, God is all that is, that we already are. And to come from that place, rather than to seek it, to come from that place. It's, it's very positive what is coming. the ancient times been teaching us how uh, living with the earth and being in a vibrational experience of our daily habits and our daily patterns and daily letting go and envisioning and tuning in as, as more we can do that as more we have the resonance with the creation in manifesting exactly our best version we want to create in life and and, and and i don't think that anybody stops growing ever there is no such a thing <laughs> we all st we all continuously grow and we all continuously expand even the earth is expanding continuously which is so fascinating so if our planet in itself keeps slightly expanding, 
we have to go with the time expand learn always learn always be intrigued by something new staying open otherwise that not growing part of us will move further back in time so we we can we are less likely to catch up with life and with with the expanding of everything if we not keep growing and consciously keep growing and consciously expanding expanding in our in, in, uh, expanding in our mind expanding in our heart right there's there's always more love to learn right there's always more to learn you know yeah it, it's it's beautiful Is a beautiful story. It's the Hopi prophecy for this time. And it's very much what you just said in a story form. So I'm going to share my version oh, of it. Oh, please do. Some of you have said that it will soon be the 11th hour. It is the 11th hour. <laughs> and some of you may feel inclined in the river to cling on to the familiar shore. But those of you who trust this growing current, I'm improvising, will let go of this futile hankering for security and safety and move with the current, with the flow, where the waters are flowing very fast now. You keep breathing and look around you for who you see swimming next to you. These are your partners, your friends, your comrades. Do not look outside of yourself for answers. Follow the flow and all will be guided in a good way. A good friend of mine and wonderful psychic once told me when I was having some relationship challenges, she said, don't focus on trying to change anything or what was wrong or what you're not comfortable with. Just keep seeing and envisioning that connection, that dynamic dialogue that you'd rather have. Don't even go to the other place. Just keep creating what you'd rather create. And that is what you're gonna create. Duh. You know, it seems so simple. And yet that's what you've been saying as well. I hear you saying, it's our dynamic dialogue with all that is that is alive with the earth, with our deepest nature, that we have it to augment every thought, every word, every action. There's nothing really else to do, but we choose to either uplift or some other things. I wouldn't even talk about those. <laughs> Let's exactly. Exactly. Uh, it, it's almost dangerous to watching news. <laughs> I encourage to the creation of the good news channel <laughs> who is going to tell you all the good news have your own channels of the good news channel you know there is so much good news around and there's so much good news to be received <laughs> it's reflecting on your beautiful comment just now on how we are in a place where any ability to share goodness, kindness, the help is, is being called for, for all of us. I have a simple statement that I often like to use that reflects this. What is the difference between these two statements? I have to do it. I have it to do taking the emphasis off of, I have to, I'm obligated to, I'd be a better person if, to, I have this, I have this to do, to be, act, to embrace, to live in the question of, that puts a very different spin on it. Then, beautiful. That being a do-gooder, I'm being a practicer of, it's a sacred responsibility to ah. share the it's, it's in me and it doesn't belong to me. I give it in service to all. 
I have to do it or I have it to do. Exactly. Right. Exactly. It takes off the, the obligation. I have to do it as energy. I have exactly. it to do. It's an exciting yeah. approach. I have it to do. It's something it's been given to me to do. Sounding okay. exciting rather than I have to do it. To do it is putting the emphasis on the doing. Oh, it sounds like strenuous if you have to do something. But if you have it to do, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I will yeah. absolutely it's adopt. The on the being. <laughs> if you the on the being, then it's a sacred responsibility because it doesn't belong to me. So I have it to share with all. And that's... It, it makes everything much more mysterious. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to adopt this into my daily language now. <laughs> I love this. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. This is a very beautiful way of making a task yours and not the doing part. The doing part is naturally, but if you have this it's to 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 uh, something it belongs to you already and you do it it's beautiful because you can see it done already it's it's wonderful it's wonderful if someone has to practice something to perfect at it to become mm -hmm. an, instead of seeing it as work or discipline or struggle or effort i i like to put these two words together joyful discipline practicing your joyful then it doesn't have the hardness connected anymore it has the joy that fuses it all the way so it's the same thing you know i have it to do the beingness in me has a sacred responsibility this joy to share what doesn't belong to me it belongs to us all how to experience change in a joyful discipline beautiful yes Yes, I I love the wording here is 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 very very powerful. Exactly, very very powerful the that we are learning in the understanding of a new view to the earth. <laughs> to our new earth is our new view to the earth and in placing a new view to the earth in the words of our wording of the daily tasking it becomes in the viewing of the perspective of it it becomes a more joyous experience changing the words before the action manifests a different outcome of the feeling level too. Indeed. Um, so powerful. Thank you. Absolutely. I can't agree more. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Because we we have this, not because, and <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like catch yourself, catch yourself while you can, every moment. So the the uh, the experience of words and the, the way we illuminate words into existence already has a different manifestation quality even the quality of the same manifestation will have an elevated experience in the perception having the perception having been changed ahead of time too so we, it's it's not you going after something you're going for something right you're going forward and you're going before and, you're yeah going and you're looking before. for exactly <laughs> you're, you're not going after something you're going forward and you're having a new approach So thank you, Gary. Really honored to share this. I'm so story. honored to hearing your wisdom and I'm so honored to having you sharing. It's 
delightful and if we can even give inspiration to just a few of you listeners and viewers i it would be a delight for us you know and yeah. for me i can i can only say that the intentions are to uh having a joyful journey no matter what is coming ahead of us and just going into appreciating life to the fullest and if it can be illuminated with each other you know we all have like we all have our incredible insightful experiences and i'm inviting everyone to 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 join in <laughs> thank you gary and i wish you a wonderful pleasant uh, night my day has just begun and your night is just beginning uh, and uh, thank you for sharing this time with us anybody who was seeing looking viewing in <laughs> thank you see you, see you again too.